This is a 2005 Toyota Tacoma, the first year for the third gen Tacoma. And you guys are wondering, why is this truck so expensive? Well, I'm about to tell you guys, and it really comes down to reliability and proportions. And literally, I could count off all the things that have been fixed on this truck with the five fingers on my hand. One was the belt that snapped, which was fixed. Then spark plugs and coils which were only changed only because they had the original ones up to like 250,000. Uh, the frame was replaced from a factory recall, as I can show you right now. It has a brand new frame under there. So that's three. What else do I got? Probably just brakes and a few sets of tires and batteries. We've had this since 40,000 miles and it is holding up. This truck has never let my father down. This thing has the original motor and trans and is about to hit 280,000 miles, meaning since ownership, we've put 240,000 miles on this thing and we've literally repaired about five things on this thing. And that's really where the price comes in on these things. This is a 2005 and you can see any other mid-size truck or even full-size truck and this thing will still be worth more than those. And really comes down to the Toyota reliability on this thing. It has a pretty big bed. And what's nice about the beds on these is that it's a plastic composite. So it'll never rust, which is a problem with the Toyota trucks prior to this. So these really don't have like rust issues with the body. Besides, if you qualify, I don't really know the qualifications for these, but you can get a brand new frame. Take it into your Toyota dealership and see if you qualify. Has a little scuff mark here. This is really the only rust on the whole body just because the paint came off of it. This truck does tow a decent amount. It tows a trailer with two big industrial lawn mowers and it's been doing that for the past, I would say, 100,000 miles. And this truck has not let us down. This truck has only broke down the one time and that was because the belt snapped and it was heating up. Now, when I come to proportions, the reason why I say that is because not everyone wants a full-size truck. This truck is considered mid-size. It's not even a small-size truck anymore compared to the earlier versions. So not everyone wants a full-size because you can't really get around the city with a huge-size truck. And this thing will fit in any parking spot, any parking garage. You don't have to worry about parking too close to the person next to you because this thing is pretty small and nimble now this is a worker truck which is great this is a great worker truck but the thing about the Tacoma is there's so many options you could do if you really wanted this thing to turn this thing into an off-road beast really all you have to do is put some suspension on it maybe some bigger tires but from factory, the TRD off, yeah, the TRD off-road comes with a locking rear diff, four selectable four-wheel drive with four low, and a five-speed manual box. And honestly, I've had a lot of fun with this truck using the rear locker. This is actually what made me aware that Toyota actually offered rear lockers from factory on these things. Get a little look on it we actually opted to get a single window because someone smashed the the three-part window but this was better for the for hauling the trailers you also have an auxiliary power port in the back right there you could flip it up and actually run it off the battery of the alternator depending on the power you want so that's really nice in case of a pinch you got these nice little cubbies you can fit stuff uh there should be a little door that goes on there little cubbies up there overall a great truck if you're looking for something to do some light duty towing go to work go on an off-road adventure honestly this thing could do it all and then also the size going back to the size on this thing not everyone's a full-size truck for let's say city parking and stuff but this thing is a good size for trails which is nice yeah, this is honestly a do-all truck if you wanted it to. Towing capacity, I'm really not sure, but it does tow the trailer without a problem. 
fuel economy on this thing it's like 16 pretty average for a truck doesn't sound great considering it's a mid-size but you're not buying it for the fuel economy i mean partially yes but really it's because of the size it is a perfect size in my opinion this is the access cab so you do have some extra storage i would show you guys the inside but it's really a bunch of craftsman stuff that are needed for work so yeah this thing you could it's a rolling office you it could be a rolling office it could be a weekend warrior it could be whatever you want it to be and honestly this thing does it all it's a family hauler worker and off-road bees so your question might be why is it so expensive and the real question is reliability this thing literally has like five things that's been fixed on it some of it has been not fixed but it hasn't asked us to be fixed there's no knocking the suspension the suspension isn't worn out even the suspension is the original that comes with the trd off road which is these bill scenes 4600s or something let's give it a little test after 280,000 miles oh yeah stiff as a rock this thing is not going anywhere there's even a recall for the for the leaf springs so that was done too so that's why the back's pretty stiff still but overall a great vehicle and i understand why the price instead of gambling your money on a chevrolet that you're gonna have to fix every couple months or replace a motor or transmission i think you can save all the headaches and the money and just buy a tacoma thank you guys for watching if you guys want to see anything else on a tacoma let me know or any questions about it i'm be happy to answer you guys leave any questions on my videos and i'll answer them right away and please subscribe i always got some dope toyota content coming out got a land cruiser and some matrix uh content coming out yeah that's my argument for the tacoma little to fix and it's a dual small mid-sized truck and honestly it's the best in the competition